working with grandmother's garden quilt blocks, kind that are made with hexagons. And what we're going to talk about is how to mark the hexagons so that you can sew them together so that the corners touch and meet perfectly and are sewn. Now these grandmother garden hexagons are hand sewn. They're not machine sewn, they are hand sewn. So let me show you how to make a marker. We're going to call it a marker to mark your hexagons for sewing. This is a piece of template pass plastic and this is my handy dandy little plastic two inch ruler. Excuse my broken finger. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to draw a line on this plastic that's two inches wide and then I'm going to cut it. There I have my two inch wide piece of um, template plastic and I am going to take my ruler and I'm going to tape it. See, I taped it so that it wouldn't shift. To draw a line down the side of this at one fourth inch. That one quarter inch has got to be a true one quarter inch down your template plastic. So you can see the line. Now I'm going to cut my um, template plastic to about four inch lengths. They don't need to be really long, so my marker is only going to be about four inches long with a quarter inch mark on the side. So that's what I've created. And this is what I'm going to use to mark my hexagons for sewing. Lay it on the line. Press down firmly so your cloth and thing don't move. And you're just going to draw a line. There's my line. This uh, mechanical pencil will come out. Okay, lay it on the line and draw your line. Turn it, lay it on your edge of your hexagon. On your what this does is this is making you a quarter inch sew line all the way around your hexagon. I'm drawing my lines. You will start st sewing at the intersection. See where these intersections are. And you will stop sewing at these intersections. Here's another hexagon that's marked. I'm going to take these two hexagons and I'm going to lay them edge to edge because they're precision cut. They come in a packet and they're precision cut. And if you go through that point with your pen, it should come out on the point on the other side. See? Perfectly aligned. You're going to pin that together. You can take your needle and thread and you're going to go in here and we're going to sew to this edge. We're going to start here and we're going to stop here. I'm using black thread. Usually when I sew these I use white thread. This white seems to blend in with just about everything. Okay, I'm going to go through that point. I should come out the point on the other side. I've got a knot in the end of this. And then I'm going to do just small stitches to the other side. So there I have my small quilting stitches. I start here with a knot, went down. I usually do a couple of stitches here to make another knot and then I cut my thread. I've got two hexagons sewn together at a quarter of an inch and they're going to stop a quarter of an inch from each edge. This is important because that's how you're going to put your next hexagon on. Your next hexagon would be right sides together. You'd put it, you got to match your edges just as if it were laying perfectly on top of the other one. You're going to take your pin, you're going to put it through your corner. Move this out of the way. We're going to line this up right to the edge. See how it goes right to the edge? Good. We're going to start a quarter inch from the edge, right there. Good job. It's going to come through, and then we're going to do our small quilting stitches down this side. Couple stitches there to make my knot, and then I'm going to cut it. When I open it up, I now have two of them cut, but then I have to sew these two that aren't sewn together. Okay, there's two. So I turn it, pull this one out of the way, and we're going to pin it and we're going to hold it in place. Then we're going to come over here where we stopped. We're going to take our needle and thread. You stop and start at each one of these. If you don't, you're going to get a pucker and you won't like the way it looks. 
when you open this, what you're going to see is you have your hexagons sewn together, but your corner, sorry about the black thread, your corner is going to come right tight to the others because it comes in a quarter of an inch and they're all going to do that. Let me, let me show you one that's sewn. Here's one I'm working on. Notice how those corners all, I love it. Corners all fit. I mean, they're right in the corner. There's no hole. There's no, and the fit is perfect. Why? Because it's a quarter inch from the edge. It's a quarter inch seam. Everything's a perfect quarter inch. Now on this round, when I go around, I'm going to take my blue one. See, I've got it dashed. I'm going to start at the edge. I'm going to line it up just like I did before. Get my edges straight. Okay, I'm going to take my pin, I'm going to pin it in place, go down through here, come through there. I love this because it works so good. Okay, it's going to hold it right there for me. Then I'm going to come over here and move this back. So there's my quarter inch where I stopped. And I'm going to bring this right to the corner. See right to the corner? There, I've got it. Move this out of the way. I've got my edge to my edge. I'm going to go right down through the corner. It should come up on the corner. Good job. And I'm going to do my small stitches down my sew line. So I'm right quarter of an inch from the edge. We're going to go right down that side. This quarter inch marker is the best thing I ever thought of. It's so easy. How long does it take you to mark these? About two seconds. Just rotate, 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 rotate. You've got one ready to sew. I would mark the whole flower one flower and then sew it together and then take out my marker and mark the next flower. Okay, I just finished sewing that. I turn it over. You see? Corners are sewn right into the corner. See? Corners are sewn right into the corners. You'll notice when you're sewing your second row that there's a repeating pattern. First you sew on the flat end and then an adjoining side so there's only two seams and on the next one when you put this down here on the flat side there'll be three seams there'll be this side and when you flip it there'll be this side and that side and then your next one will only have two seams so it goes two three two three two three that's 37 pieces in one block and then you have a piece that uh, goes around the outside to sew the two blocks together. When you put the two, you'll have one extra piece between them. This marking with your little quarter inch marker is the key to success because it will mark exactly where you need to sew and exactly where you need to stop. And it's that exactness that makes all of these pieces fit so nicely together. Mm -hmm.